Dear friends, I want to talk about the new mesh to nerves room. Based on the low poly mesh, we will create surfaces. Each face turns into a surface. In this case, smoothing occurs according to the Catmull Clark algorithm. We had 174 faces, we got 174 surfaces that can be merged. I select the edges to indicate the boundaries of the surfaces. Sharp edges also affect surface boundaries. Not all the areas have merged. Because the topology would not allow that. We create the surfaces that appear in the 3 coat project. Some surfaces can be merged. I want to build one big surface instead of a set of small ones. I remove unwanted surfaces. I select the edges and build a surface using the filling surface tool. This is a new data type. They can be saved in a file and exported as an IGES file. Let's have a look at the resurfaces tool. Based on a high poly mesh, sculpt mesh, we will build surfaces. In the loft mode, you need to draw several curves to build a surface. The spline can be edited. If you move the extreme points while holding down control, then the spline gets aligned with the plane passing through two points perpendicular to the screen.
The operation of this tool is similar to Smart Retopo. Surfaces after creation can be edited, unite, snaping to the sculpted mesh, smooth out seams. In the spots where the deviations are particularly noticeable, additional parameter lines can be inserted. Let's analyze the deviations of the mesh nodes from the sculpted mesh. The main thing is that the degree of accuracy of the deviation can be controlled. Now we'll take a look at the polygon mode. Let's draw the boundaries of the surface. Let's make symmetry about the y-axis. And then merge the two surfaces. In the middle, we will insert an additional parameter line so that the surface fits better to the mesh. Let's make symmetry about the z-axis. Let's build a bridge between two surfaces.
we'll extract four edges from the surfaces, so we could build a surface out of those. To extract the edge, I double click the left mouse button. Let's analyze all the surfaces. The maximum is 0.02 millimeters. We are exporting surfaces as nerves to an IGES file. We import the file into the Rhino app and do the zebra analysis.